How's it going guys? Will here. So a pretty common idea with the increase of devices with OLED screens is that due to the pixels being able to turn off independently, dark mode will effectively give you more battery life. Now this has been proven to be theoretically true, but I wanted to find out if there was a noticeable increase in day-to-day -day usage. Seeing as the weather kind of sucks at the moment and I have nothing to do this weekend, I thought I might as well do something and find out if this is true. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. So the control device for this, due to the nature, not very scientific experiment, is going to be my own iPhone iPhone 10. Mainly because at the moment it's the only OLED device I actually own. On Saturday I'll be using it strictly in light mode and on Sunday I'll be using it strictly in dark mode. Both will be at full brightness and charged to 100% the night before. Then I'm going to unplug them at 7am and use them throughout the day as I usually would. Maybe a little more because as I said the weather sucks. And at the end of the day we're going to see how much battery life is left. Stop, stop, stop. Before this video goes any further I just want to say thank you all so much for 20,000 subscribers. The growth of this channel recently has been crazy. There will be a proper celebration video soon but for now let's get into the tests day one was as i said light mode day good morning everybody so i'm using this time at the moment where it's not raining to record a section today is definitely going to be a heavy phone use day in the morning i have already watched some youtube but as i said i mean i'm just going to be using it as i usually would so i thought i'd use this section to reveal the next iphone that i plan to review here we go okay big reveal coming in three two one it's the iPhone 8. This was by far one of the most requested phones for me to review. I've been using this thing for a pretty long time now actually and I've never done a review. And seeing as it was so highly requested, I thought it made sense. I'm actually learning some new tricks for this next review. But yeah, I thought I'd take this section just to reveal the next phone I plan to review. I know the iPhone 10 was definitely the phone of that year, but I really did love this phone. It doesn't have an OLED panel though, so I'm not gonna be using it today. <laughs> to be completely honest, this wasn't too different from a normal day. I usually have the day night mode cycle feature turned on. So when it gets dark, my phone does switch to dark mode, but at this time it would usually be on light mode So there's nothing really different here. All right So it's 3 36 on the light mode day and I currently have I opened the camera by accident That's that's a good start. Not too bad considering I've been using it for three hours and three minutes today still uh, <laughs> Let's see how it lasts for the rest of the day in the evening I didn't really use my phone that much I did most of my phone use in the morning But I ended the day at around 25% which is actually pretty typical in my use case day two was of course dark mode day I also really that I barely vlogged yesterday, so I decided to start the day the way I usually do. Coffee. So it's currently 1.38 p.m. on day two, and we're currently at 72% battery life. Not sure how much that's actually down to the dark mode though. I mean, I guess we'll see how effective it was by the end of the day. So at this point in the challenge through day-to-day -day usage, I'm not quite sure how effective it actually is. So that morning, I ended up using my phone for about three hours. Granted, this usage was a little unusual, but still, it was natural. I can't say I haven't done this before. After lunch though, I had something a lot more meaningful planned. This afternoon might be a better test considering I'm gonna be using this phone to help me choose my new microphone. Okay, so now I know what mic I want. I've just done loads of research into the different types of microphones because at the moment I'm using this Blue Yeti and it's all right for an entry level microphone. I'm also using this Rode mic, but I wanted something a little bit better, something specifically for this. I had to decide between the Rode Procaster and the Shure SM7B. Now, I know the Shure SM7B is legendary. The Rode just sounds really good for voiceover, so I think I'm going to go with that one. I don't have an audio shop near me where I can just test microphones. If I don't like the Rode, though, I'll definitely go with the Shure. Battery life's doing pretty good, too. It is currently 841, and I have 34%. That's pretty good. After this, I didn't really touch my phone for the rest of the evening, and I ended up with just under 30% battery life at midnight. All right. So, what did I find out from this experiment? Well, we already know that the combination of OLED and dark mode does save battery in theory, but as it turns out, this also applies to a practical sense. I found out that by the end of the day in which I had dark mode on, bearing in mind I actually used my phone considerably more that day, I still had a fair amount of battery life left. So, how big was the difference? Well, we just saw the difference wasn't massive, but it was enough to make a difference. At the end of the light mode day, so midnight, it was around the mid-twenties, but as we just said, on the dark mode day, it ended up at just under 30%, which in a day 
day with heavier usage could be the difference between making it to a charging point or not. So, after all this, am I going to be exclusively using dark mode? No. Unpopular opinion, but during the day, I actually prefer light mode. In fact, day or night, I keep light mode YouTube on all the time. I also significantly prefer light mode for typing documents. I find it easier to read small text and I stay focused for longer. For me at least, it does make my phone a little bit more interesting to look at. Everything seems a bit more vibrant and while I do love night mode for the evenings, during the day, I would personally sacrifice the battery life savings for a user experience that I personally prefer. So to answer the question this video initially posed, yeah. Dark mode on an OLED panel does practically save you battery life. So if you are going to have a long day where you're going to be using your phone lots and you're not going to be able to get to a charger, then it may be worth turning dark mode on. As I said, that 8 or so percent battery life may be the difference between making it to a charger or not. Alright guys, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh.